These AI tools will change how you use Logic Pro forever. So in this video, I'm gonna show you three insanely useful AI tools that plug directly into your workflow so you can finish music faster, make better mixes, and just finally stop feeling stuck. I've been producing in Logic for over 10 years, and these tools completely shifted my workflow. So to start, let's look at this free AI tool to beat writer's block. Actually, one of my students always struggled with starting songs, but after showing him this tool, 48 hours later, he sent me a full demo. Introducing the Logic Pro Starter Bot. So you can get access to this tool for free by clicking the link in the description. It's actually a tool I've created on my own using ChatGPT because I've just witnessed the, like, the frustrations that beginner producers have when they're just trying to start something new in Logic. So I've set it up so that you can immediately click on one of the following prompts here, but I also suggest that you write this prompt below and then fill in the blanks that work for you. And this prompt is right in the description below, so just copy and paste it. I'm a songwriter and producer who likes to make indie rock music. I play guitar and a bit of piano, and I also sing. I'd like to write a reflective and emotional song, taking inspiration from early James Taylor and Neil Young. Pretty insane, right? Like how this is just a song that's never been created and we just created this song with artificial intelligence right now. Anyways, I've taken this song and actually created it and this is what it sounds like. The wind has a way of saying your name when the golden light. But what if you're not struggling with starting songs, right? But you have all these annoying questions that pop up while you're producing something in Logic. This one totally blew my mind. It's literally like having a Logic Pro tutor sitting right beside you. So this is where I suggest you use the Google AI Studio. So go to the link in the description at aistudio.google.com. And then if you just click stream here and then start like press, either it will say recording or talk, then that opens up your microphone that you can actually just talk to the Google AI. So when you're working, in Logic and you're unsure about something, just turn on talk or recording and ask the Google AI to have a conversation with it. Kind of creepy, but kind of awesome. I'm gonna show you right now. Let's take two different examples. Hey, I'm working in Logic here and I can't hear the sound coming out from the output of Logic. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. Can you help? Hello? So I need, I didn't press record. Okay, here we're actually going. Okay, new to AI. Okay. Hey, I'm uh, working in Logic here and um, there's no sound output coming from Logic. I'm not sure why. Okay, so you're not getting any sound output from Logic. Have you checked your audio preferences in Logic to ensure the correct output device is selected? I'm in settings uh, under audio and it looks like my output is set up to my audio interface. So it looks like everything is okay there. Okay. Your output is correctly set to your audio interface. Have you tried checking the volume levels both in Logic and on your audio interface itself to make sure they're not muted or turned down too low? Um, yeah, I checked that. Looks like, actually, I did have it muted. Um, cause so I unmuted that and now I'm still, let's say I'm still not getting sound. Okay. Even after unmuting, you're still not getting sound. Have you checked the individual track volumes within logic to ensure they're not muted or turned down? Uh, individual tracks. Yep. Those are all good. Okay, individual tracks are all good. Are you using any plugins on the tracks in Logic? If so, have you tried bypassing them to see if one of them might be causing the issue? Okay, pretty insane, right? Like, um, and you could even go further if it's still an issue and they're gonna help you figure it out. Okay, let's look at example number two. That was a simple example, right? Let's try to maybe test the AI a little bit and do something a bit more advanced like this. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm producing a song here in Logic and I have this like uh, lead vocal track here. I'm not really sure what type of reverb I should add. Like I've been playing around with a small room reverb, but I want it to sound a bit bigger and lush. Um, do you have any suggestions I could use? Even if you have some suggestions that use the Space Designer Logic, uh, the Logic Stock Logic plugin, that would be helpful. I'm just a bit stuck here. For a bigger and more lush reverb on your lead vocal, 
you could try a hall reverb with a longer decay time, or even a plate reverb for a classic sound. Within Space Designer, experiment with different impulse responses, adjusting the size and density parameters to tailor the reverb to your liking. Would you like me to suggest any specific settings to get you started? Yeah, could you suggest like um, an exact preset I could start with in Space Designer? Within Space Designer, try the large hall or rich plate presets as starting points. From there, adjust the pre-delay to around 20 to 30 milliseconds to separate the reverb from the direct signal and fine tune the EQ to prevent muddiness. Would you like some further guidance on adjusting the EQ? Actually, what does pre-delay mean? Pre-delay is the short delay between the original sound and the onset of the reverb. It helps to create a sense of space and separation, preventing the reverb from washing out the initial sound. Would you like a more detailed explanation? Insane. Um, that, that was pretty cool how it, you could, it could, yeah, it knows what pre-delay is. And, and um, it said some weird vocabulary words with impulse and stuff. I'm not really sure what that is, but how cool is this? These are pretty insane tools and it's just crazy how they're available to you for free. So next I'm going to show you two game changing tools that were, are actually going to mix your songs for you. So the first tool is called Neutron 4 by Isotope and you can find it at the link in the description. I'm going to show you something wild right now here where it's actually this plugin will EQ your tracks for you and it will help even blend two tracks together. So let me show you this. Um, I have an acoustic bus here with the sound of these acoustic guitars. So let's just have a listen. So simple, nice acoustic guitar sound. This is the plugin. It's off right now. I can turn everything off here. Just start from scratch. The thing about Isotope, which is really, um, they're strong at using AI. So I can actually just press this button and um, it will learn the, the sound of the guitars. So I have to turn it on and then it will learn the sound of the guitars and then make a suggestion on how it can EQ it, it can press it and also make it a bit punchier. So it's learning this the audio now. So that's the sound it's given us out of the box and it's given us three presets we can use. It's a bit too bright for me, so I might choose just go right to acoustic guitar because I know it's an acoustic guitar. And then I can press this box here and it's see what it's done. And I can also edit it to my to my liking here. But I specifically want to mention like the EQ. It's provided us with an EQ. It's also done some compression, a bit of like distortion-y thing here and some sculpting. I don't I don't really know what those do, but let's have a listen right now. So that's, let's bypass it. All right, let's bypass the whole plugin. It's not doing a lot, but it is brighter and it's a little cleaner. Something you really could have done just without an EQ and a compressor yourself. The thing is though, with the tools, the AI tools that we have at our disposal right now is that I didn't really have to do anything. I just clicked learn and then clicked a few added buttons. So, so beneficial for those who don't want to spend the time like doing it themselves. It's a bit of a cheat code, but you can move a lot faster in this way. The one caveat here that I would say before you move on to the to the next step is to, that using these tools without the like the prerequisite knowledge of having a bit of this um context of what EQ and compression are, you can get a bit lost in this. So it doesn't really make up the, doesn't give you an excuse to just not learn those things a little bit. It does help to learn a bit about like how to EQ something first yourself before just using these magic plugins. Um, I would suggest doing that first. Now let's take this plugin a step further here and I'll show you a bit, one of the cool things about AI technology now is you can use it on two tracks 
and we'll look at those two tracks and then basically say like, okay, let's EQ the guitar like this because the vocal is here. So um, I can just, um, let me take these off for a second and just show you what this tool is called inside Neutron. It's called the Unmask tool. You can use it as a separate thing or it can actually be within an EQ itself. That's a little bit too deep. I don't want to go too deep into that right now, but I will show you how it works on the Unmasked tool if I side chain it to my Levox audio. And you'll hear this if I really bump this up to 100%. Um, I'll show you without it. Okay, so let's listen to the guitar and the vocal without um, much happening here. So just focus on the guitar. She's the one that got away. Saw the world through colored glasses with a smile up on her face. Now watch as I bring this up dramatically, you'll hear the guitar um, really duck. She's the one that got away. When the vocal is singing. Saw the world through colored glasses with a smile up on her face. Notice when notice that the guitar gets louder as the vocal uh, s stops singing. So that's because this plugin is side chained. It's paired to the vocal track. So giving at that at 100% doesn't sound good because it gives a bit of a pumping effect. But if you find a tasteful amount where you don't really notice that, it's taking, it's ducking, it's finding the frequencies in the guitar that are masked with the lead vocal and it's helping those balance better. So you can really get sophisticated with this, this stuff here to, to find clarity in your tracks. Pretty wild stuff. Let's have a listen just to it at 39%. She's the one that got away. Saw the world through colored glasses with a smile up on her face. Guess I never knew my place. I've been frozen in a Like, that sounds cool. That sounds cool to me. Wild. The only downside here is this plugin costs a bunch of money, but you can find an option on Splice, which is another tool to rent this plugin at like 20 bucks a month. There is a free trial as well. But if you don't wanna pay for anything, pay attention to this next tool because it's free. This tool is called Mix Check Studio, and it can give you feedback on your mix so you know what areas to improve. So let's upload a track here and just see, uh, see what it says. So I'll upload a recent demo. Uploading, um, this track is mixed and ready for mastering. This track, eh, no, it's kind of mixed, yeah. So let's see what it says. Let's fill out these details. Describe the mix. Okay, so what does it say here? Got our track, sample rate, bit depth, clipping, Okay, I don't really care about this stuff too much. I want just some suggestions. So um, there appears to be some minor clipping. So some suggestions on how to fix that. It looks like your mix might be too loud. Okay, and there could be some potential issues with mono capability. Um, honestly, not that helpful, but that's the big difference really between these two tools. Neutron, paid, kind of expensive, works, free, Nah, doesn't really do much for me. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you is a process I use to maximize my productivity and workflow in Logic. So most of us have a ton of stuff to do, right? We're busy and it seems like there's never enough time to do everything, right? I have a full client list of productions I gotta get to. I produce my own music, I play shows, I run this business, make your music, teaching you how to produce music. And not to mention, I have two kids under the age of two it's a lot. So how can we get all this stuff done? I've created two prompts for you to help structure and organize your time so that you can find a sense of like calm in your Logic Pro journey. These prompts you can put into any AI tool. The one I'll be using is ChatGPT. So the first prompt is for busy parents like me. And the second prompt is for those struggling to finish songs and just stay focused really. So if you don't fall into one of these buckets, you can use these prompts as a guideline and then introduce more personal context in each of the prompts. So both of these prompts, by the way, are in the video description. So you can just copy and paste those into any of your preferred AI tools. Let's use the first prompt now and use ChatGPT. 
I'm a songwriter and producer who uses Logic Pro, but I have a really busy schedule with work and or parenting. I only have 20 to 60 minutes a day, sometimes less, but I still want to consistently write, record, and finish songs. Can you create a realistic weekly plan broken into small daily tasks that help me make progress, even if it's slow. Please include time for songwriting, recording, mixing, learning Logic Pro, and reflecting on progress. Also, give me tips to avoid burnout and perfectionism, and help me stay motivated. Boom. A complete structured plan for you to follow and achieve your goals. Now, is this going to solve everything? No. You actually have to go and do the thing now. Also, if you read through the plan and you're like, uh, not interested or it's not personal enough, provide more context to the AI and it will give you something back in return. Now we're going to look at a tool to help you add that final polish and punch to your music with the click of a button. A company called Lander has made it very easy for us to master our songs with their AI engine. So I'm going to show you the free option that allows you to export MP3 files only. Okay, so you can go new to upload a song, master, Angel Eyes, let that upload. So you can see we have a couple options here. Um, we have our master, our song, where we can listen to the full thing. And then we have three different style options, three different loudness options. Then we can create the master from that. So not a lot of flexibility, but pretty good for free. So the thing is, if you want the WAV files, which you should get if you're going to upload to Spotify, then you pay for it. But if you're looking for a completely free option where you don't have to pay for it, then you can actually use the tool right within Logic using the mastering tool. But I first personally find that tool a bit too limiting for what it is right now. But for a quick and dirty master, it's good enough. All these AI tools are going to help you be much more productive, but they're not actually going to help you produce music or fix the mistakes you're already making. So watch this video right here and watch me lovingly roast three producer songs. And I go over the most common mistakes a lot of you are making that are killing your songs. And don't worry, I show you how to fix them all.